Michael, Devin is calling. Hello, Michael. Hello yourself. If you waited a couple more minutes, we could talk face to face. We're almost back to the semi now. Well, that's why I'm calling. I'm afraid I won't be there. I injured my back, and I don't want any cracks about falling off bar stools, chasing blondes, slipping on banana peels, or anything like that. Somehow that image didn't occur to me. Bonnie will be doing double duty, taking my place. She'll fill you in on what we've got. What's the case? Acid John Byrock. You can pat yourself on the back for putting the foundation onto him. I'll pat myself on the back when we put him out of business. Well, it took considerable research and surveillance, but I now think we have a handle on just how to do that. Good luck, Michael. Well, let's go, buddy. like the movie selection we have for today. So Devin told me. Please, tell me you caught Acid John in the act. No such luck, but we have put a lot of pieces together. The waste disposal site itself, where the acid is so powerful that it can eat through steel and is presumably contained, but it's actually leaching into local groundwaters. There are barrels of toxic waste, rusted, leaking, a nightmare. There's our man, John Byrock, otherwise known as Acid John, owner of Interstate Waste Disposal, king of the polluters. Your friend and mine. Yeah, very famous for dumping chemicals that kill in your backyard or in lakes and streams. He likes his manicures today, but he came up from the streets, and there's still plenty of dirt left in those fingernails. Bonnie, tell me you found a way to nail this guy. We concentrated on finding his records. They'd show a jury what chemicals came into the disposal sites and what chemicals were left unaccounted for. You mean dumped? We've been all through that. The DA subpoenaed his records. And then Byrock was happy to give them a set. A nice, clean, phony set from his nice, clean offices. Here, here's what Devin brought you in for. For obvious reasons, Byrock stays as far away from the dump sites as he can. But we were able to catch him there on two separate occasions, and both times, carrying a briefcase. Oh, you think the real records are in the dump site? We think they're in that office. And the DA says if we can confirm, he'll put him away. Terrific. Now I'm going to do some investigating of my own. We just entered enemy territory. Give me a reading. The road surface is covered with benzene and PCBs, polyvinyl chloride, C56, all in all a highly toxic combination. Just passing by. You might as well just keep on going. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing anyone can do. You sure? Oh, look, on second thought, why not? He's too heavy for me. You think you can pick him up and put him in my van? I'll take him to the vet for all the good it'll do. Yeah, come on. <sighs> you know, I get the feeling you know what's happening here. Is this your ranch? Oh, I'm not a rancher. I'm a wildlife photographer. You see all these dead cattle? The illegal dumping of toxic waste is on its way in. The wildlife is on its way out. There you go, little guy. OK. You know, everybody knows what's going on here. But no one wants to do anything about it. They just keep passing by. Well, not to everybody. Look, I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. 
Take care, huh? Yeah. Thanks a lot. You get the feeling they don't want company. More to the point, who'd want to visit? <laughs> yeah, right. See if you can find the office. That's it. Upper left quadrant. What kind of security? There's a Bell Model 211 403 safe and a Marco Steel and Rock Fire Proof file cabinet, complete with combination lock. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. All right, I'm going in, kid.